Thank you for joining us once again. This is Danny. And that's Ricky. Today we've got some Polish goodies. We went to the Sklep, which is Polish <laughs> shop. We picked all these things up. We said they did. Super excited. I haven't tried any of them before. Grab yourself a Tisky and come join us. Run the intro. Thumbs at the ready. It's Red Review. So many treats in front of us. I don't know where to start. I reckon savoury. Yes. Down yes. Down the, down Is there anything on this sweets. table that you are particularly looking forward to trying? I, I like paprika crisps. I've heard really good things about these princesses. Princesses. Things. Personally, I'm looking forward to these bacon schmackoos. Schmackoos, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. <laughs> start, Dan. Yeah. Choose, yeah. choose I'm a gonna, snack. I'm going to start with the Cheetos. Yeah. And the Cheetos are a big brand. And yes. I, I'm fully aware of them. I don't no. think they're particularly uh, a Polish brand. No, 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 no. no. You know, must be pretty popular. Let's assume that the ketchup yeah. flavour here is sort yeah. of Polish inspired. Now, yeah. the first thing you do with any crisp, does it taste like the flavour it's advertising? What are you thinking? No. It's not got a lot of flavour. No. I'd expect him. Cheetos to have like a bang, yeah. punchy flavour. But not so much. It's it doesn't even resemble a Cheeto to me. It's more like a chipstick. That might be the style, do you know what I mean? Like a chip to go with ketchup. It could be. Nothing really to report here, I don't think. No. It's, it's, um, they're okay, they're standard. Yeah. Not good, not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Our country has seen a very healthy rise in the Polish population, and as a result of that, we're getting a lot more Polish shops popping up around. Mm. Also, a lot of these products are available now in the international aisle in the supermarket. They're not difficult to get hold of, so we had to give them a try, didn't we? Shall yeah, we look yeah, at yeah. these crunch chips? Oh, Schmacku paprika. Yeah. As Dan was looking forward to these most, oh, please feel free to I'm start. I'm going to try and find one with got quite a bit of red on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did all right there. Well there. That's yeah. my favourite one. They're a good quality. Mm. They are, aren't they? Crunchy chip. Yeah. A lot saltier than paprika crisp I've had in the past. Yeah. And not as paprika y. No. I've had other ones before that are quite smoky and quite dusty, if you know yeah. what I mean. I'm hoping that this is not a running theme throughout <laughs> no. the product. I'm not tasteless, but I'm just like, I wouldn't buy them again. I wouldn't be able to close my eyes and assume what flavour they are. No. However, they're a very good quality crisp. Oh, yeah. They've got really good potato y flavour. Yes. If that makes sense. They taste like old school crisps. They remind me of crisps I think I would have had as a child. And I think crisps when I was younger tasted more potato y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Get I'm excited. Think. Maxi bar bacon flavoured schmack is flavour. Flavour, I think, flavor. yeah. Pratchniki. Yeah. So <laughs> let's get started on. If you're Polish, I'm so Bacon sorry. rashers for the one yeah. of better term. Now, do you oh, know what they're reminding me of? Can you remember snaps with the crocodile? Smiths yeah, or yeah, yeah. I think they were walkers at one point. They sort of re resemble those. Yeah. Extremely they're lighter than I thought they were going to they're be. Bang on, absolutely bang on. They're like bacon snaps. These have a good bacon flavour. It tastes like real bacon. Yeah. If that makes yeah. sense. Really good. I don't necessarily know how popular this snack is in Poland, you know. We haven't been there. Out of the three. That's a quality product, isn't it? Now choose. Do we have a princess? Now there's two princesses that we have here. We have a I'm assuming an, an original. What's a chover? Which, yeah. I, which I presume is hazelnut. I probably said that completely wrong. And this is zebra flavoured. Zebra. Probably doesn't taste of zebras. No, I I'm just feeling kind of wafery. You've not had this before, no? No, I did a little bit of research and these came up as like super popular okay. like, all the time. Excellent. I'm just going to break a bit off. Chocolate here. covered. Zebra because. Oh, it's yours is more of a dark, like mm. a cakey uh, layer cake. Yeah, kind of thing, like stripey, I stripey yeah. like a zebra. Yeah. They remind me of some like pink wafers that you get in like Fox's biscuit tins. I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more chewy. You know, like the tonics. Mm, the caramel wafers. Yeah, they have a nice bite to them. Boingy. Yeah, a boingy taste. I quite like so the what zebra. What's your opinion of the zebra? I quite like the zebra. It's nice. Oh. And you'll see what I mean now, tasting the zebra. There's a moisture in this that's not present. You know what? That. I don't like that. It's very, very rare you'll see yeah. not eating something. The zebra is the winner out of the two princesses. Zebra's the winner. Jaffa cakes, raspberry flavoured though. We know and love them. Now is it a cake or is it a biscuit? It's uh, officially a cake. That's been proved in a court of law. Is this true? Yeah, yeah. Cakes go softer and biscuits go harder. harder. And because in this country, 
supermarkets don't charge VAT on cakes, but they do biscuits. So a few years ago, supermarkets were getting these massive backdated tax bills. So they made a giant one, took it to court and said, look, it's a miniature version of this giant cake we've made. Screw you, tax guy. What other food review channel would you get information <laughs> like that from? It's slightly bigger than a McVitie's, I feel. You know what? Always slightly bigger. It's got a little like, engraving of the name. <laughs> That's a nice little touch, isn't it? It's going in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going in. No. Oh, my word. It's better all around. I think the jelly ratio is higher than our Jaffa cakes. Yeah. I can't help but compare them with that. Yeah, 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 of course, of course. I also the think better. that the biscuit base, for cake, one of the, cake base. the cake base, I apologise, is much softer and much yeah, more appealing. Yeah, than yeah, the yeah, yeah, cake. yeah, yeah. It feels like a better quality product. And do you know what? If you thought that a Jaffa cake being orange was the best flavour, this good. is a strong contender. Pretty good. Mm. They're a winner. They are a winner. Raspberry Supreme Jaffa mm. cake. Excellent. What do you feel? Should we have a little drink? Let's have, have a drink. Mm. Time bark. Tim bark. Tim bark. It says less sugar. I mean, less sugar than what? <laughs> the, the barrel of sugar. Now they have a very quirky little opening and a little old yeah. school wrinkle. Ooh. I don't know what I heard. Oh, oh, what did you say on yours? It says, we'll make it. Mine says, make a wish. Oh. So this is apple cherry flavour. Mine's apple and mint. They must have had quite a lot of apples. Right. Apple and mint seems like an odd combo. It is a very odd combination. It's not something that we're it? used to. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, I actually expected it to be carbonated and I don't know why. I expected a little... Bit it just of... tastes like a Robinson's cordial. <clears throat> try that one, me. try that one to let me know. I'm not going to say anything about that one until you've had it. That is just an horrendous mixture <laughs> of flavour. <laughs> it's horrible, it's like toothpaste yeah, and that apple is disgusting. juice and water. That is disgusting. You know, like, if you go, oh, what should I try and make? I'll try and make some... <laughs> That weird drink. Oh, don't work together. It doesn't work together. Does not it? for me. Not for no. me. The cherry. It's, it's I a like good the cherry. Drink. It's a good drink. It's nothing to write home about. No, no. That was kind of weaker. It almost tastes like toothpaste, apple juice, and water. It tastes like something that a child has mixed together. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 It's yeah. really bad. If we were doing thumbs up or thumbs down on these products, that, that would be definitely be a thumbs That'd down. That would be a thumbs it? down. Yeah. But taste is a matter of taste, I guess. Taste is a matter of taste. Now this what do we have? is Advocar flavour. Now I don't know if Advocar is meant to taste of anything. I've never really thought about it because it just tastes like Advocar. Sort of cream. Yeah, yeah. it's like a creamy drink. That, wow, it's uh, Advocar. Quite, <laughs> it's quite fondanty. It looks like a, an actually a dark chocolate of some kind. It's mm. definitely not a milk chocolate, is it? <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> That can definitely stay in Poland. Cute that. Yeah. You might like it. It does taste alcoholy. It's super strong. Like yeah. those hotel chocolat truffle mm. things. Mm. That are, they have mm. ones that are super strong in alcohol, and this feels like it could get the job done. <laughs> it tastes more like something you'd eat at Christmas around your nan's ass. Yeah. I do believe that the dark chocolate in this was probably complementing it more than a milk chocolate. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I kind of yeah. understand that, but just generally speaking, I don't think it's a good mix. Yeah. Now, Which, you've told me about these when you researched. These, these are popular. They uh, were popular. Little, little research on yeah. the internet. This came up over and over and over again. Kruvka, maybe Kruvka? Kruvka. I'm not sure what Kruvka means. If you know, let, let us know. know. So it's some kind of toffee fudge. It looks like fudge. fudgy toffee, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fragile. They're, they're bigger pieces than I would have mm. thought you normally get with fudge. It's mm. soft. Tastes very much like a homemade traditional fudge, that. Mm. Like you can taste the sort of caramelised sugar and the, the milk in there a bit. Yeah. yeah. It's not something that I ever gra gravitate towards. Again, no. I think it's one of those sweets that you would have in small doses. I would imagine it appeals to an older generation. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Sorry, I thought you had some big words in the air. <laughs> well, I kind of think the packaging is like aimed at a younger crowd. I agree, but the taste but, for me... But the taste is like old people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it doesn't yeah. taste like old people, but it's what old people <laughs> would like. Since Polo... This just, is just, a popular just, product, just, isn't it? It came up over and over and over yeah. again. It, it, it's a lot lighter than it looks, and it kind of looks a bit like a Twix. It kind of does. From a, it, from it, a packaging, from packaging point, point of view. Yeah. So when I picked it up, I was surprised. It looks... Like it's gonna disappoint again, I'm afraid. It looks, <laughs> it looks a lot like the Princessa ones, you know yes, what I mean? Very dry. Really yeah. dry. Really dry. It's the same product. I think for them to be so popular now, 
It must be like a nostalgia thing. Yeah. Because I'm sure there's things that we eat that uh, probably wouldn't be as popular elsewhere in the world. I'm not a big fan the of that one. The chocolate tastes kind of cheap. Mm. But it is interesting to see how these European products mm. test up to our, our now non-European palates. <laughs> yeah. Post-Brexit, it? is that what post, it is? It's, post, it's like, yeah, it's post Yeah, we're since, just angry. Since we've left Europe, we're like, yeah. no, don't like your, don't like, don't like your chocolates. Our Polish trip is finished. I was a little bit let down by yeah. a few of the products. Yeah, I agree. It's like yeah. a mixed bag. Yeah. A couple of the crisps, a bit tasteless. Some good standouts though, weren't they? The Jaffa cakes. The Jaffa cakes, yeah, we both like them. Fantastic. I was, big, I was a big fan of that, Ricky. Yeah. I think you're wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> I think because I'm a bit older, I might like fudge. Yeah. I mean, it's like an old sort of person's thing, it's apparently, probably, yeah. isn't it? These were a standout. They were really good. Really it was a happy find, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were really find. good. They were probably one of the best things. The whole way free biscuits, your Prince Polo and your Princessa ones. Not, nah. not a big fan, just all, fan. all a bit basic, yeah. really. So let us know if we've missed anything that you really like that's from yeah. Poland. Thank you very much for watching this episode. We really appreciate it. Please leave us a like. Please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. Drop us some comments as well if you want to know anything or you want to give us any advice on what we should be doing next. <laughs> Hopefully you'll join us in the future yes, for our next video. Yes, please. Thank you very much for watching. We appreciate it. Take it easy. Bye. Bye-bye.